bit of assistance. Um, can I, uh, this guy right here. I might be struggling for some words tonight. I might be someone to help me finish my thoughts. So today I was out at the beach. I was running and I tripped over a porcupine. Porcupine. And I will somehow make that work and make it work for what we are doing in the show. Would you guys need any help tonight? Yeah, I'll probably need some help at some point because uh, I'll be trying to think of something. Like, uh, I just got off work from my job, which is? Uh, doctor. That makes perfect sense. It does make perfect sense. I cannot argue with that. Yeah, nope. My whole thing is... Luckily, I will not need any help, so I won't come to you any for information. Not need anything. Uh, are there any drink specials? Is Lauren in? Anything? Mike, I'm going to do it. you need to Uh, there's a $7 shot and a beer special. No, there's a struggle with in your daily routine. Erection. Lemons. Erection town. Erection town. Erection town. Thank you. Traffic, am I right? <laughs> you tell me, backed up one after the other. There's a dinner when they call. Yeah. And you came in? Yeah. That's our job. Right? You weren't necessarily on call. I mean, well, they called me. I came in. I said, honey, who cares about dinner? I'll come in. your giant erection, Mary. Well, I'd like to think it was a giant erection. It's just a normal erection. I don't really want to talk about the size. Yeah, yeah we're just love your mind. Yeah. You don't know how to see a man who, uh, when he's told it's a larger penis than he does. Yes, yeah. actually, you know, it's uh, well, yeah. the size of me. I mean, come on, we've been raised a long time. I know when you're embellishing. True. We don't know if a dog weighs other sticks, and I'd like to keep that. Like, guys, I don't know if we're changing the protocol, but yeah. I'm happy I to have that. I thought we were all friends here. We're, we're, I don't think it's friends I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. See? Listen to more, more about what Mike is saying here, Barry. We don't need to talk about penises all the time. Come on, Tom. Listen. <laughs> See, you guys are already scrubbing for surgery. Me? Can't even reach it. Looks like we're doing some heavy lifting then today, huh? Yeah, I don't really know how to do that. You, uh, you want to get a shot of adrenaline? You know the truth is there's only one thing you can do for free after. Yeah, well, yeah. of course we know. We're doctors, we know. Yeah. Yeah. You sever the vein that runs out of the posterior end of your penis. Sever? Well, I was thinking... I mean, we reattach it, but the only possible solution is to get that blood to drain. Yeah. Well, we, we might want to give it a few more hours before we go cutting the tip off. You know? Don't just cut the tip off. Yeah, right. I, 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 I was worried. I already had that done when I was a baby. Uh, you know, was, they cut the entire tip off? Well, most of it, three quarters. You were a terrible doctor. Yeah. It's not definitely death protocol. I was a bad no, baby. No, no. Protocol, no there. I want to address the back problem right now, though. The erection, I'm hoping it goes away. I'm wondering why I can't stand up right now. If you think you figured it out, actually, I think it's the, uh, the, the erection. Yeah. yeah. It seems like we just can't get off. It's like we get, yeah, we get we away from it. Yeah, we're not trying to be, uh, well, that's not, we're not supposed to talk about it. Not like that conversation with your father. 
honor. Yeah. <laughs> I got that article posted in the journal this month. Congrats. Yeah, it was good. It was the first time. Lancet? Come again? Lancet? Yeah. You want it? You should do it. The Lancet, Lancet the, the journal Lancet, the yeah. primary medicine. Oh, I thought you wanted to Lance, Lance the Bane. No, no, I don't want to do anything to your dick. I don't want to do it. You know, wow, well, we're friends. I don't think either of us want to do it. I think we just want to, I think we just want to do surgery today. Well, that would be a minor surgery. Wait, for right? our patient. I mean, if I, if I were just some regular guy who came in with a problem, penis can't go down, what would you do? Right, like you were saying, because so, because we're friends, you can't look at my penis and cut the tip off. Is that what you're telling me? I need to be as clear as possible. No one is cutting any tip of anybody's penis off. All right, that's right. Uh, Probably oh, clear, Tom. You know, it's, yeah, Barry, we're just severing the vein. Oh. <laughs> Lancing it. Sure. Okay. Sure. sure. We'll plan it for you. Yeah. We'll plan it. We're gonna. I mean, first we gotta get, we gotta remove this infected pancreas. I'm yeah. Not, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I should probably clean up for that. Yeah. <sighs> got a new Roth IRA. You didn't know that? Yeah. yeah. Congrats. Thank you. You know, I'm so good. Good numbers? I'm pretty happy with the investment right. strategy my uh, account's got me set up then. That's nice. It's important to diversify. It is. Yeah. You don't have to wash your dick ever. <laughs> I mean, you do sometimes, but not for certain. Yeah, 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 yeah. usually. Why should they not? Jeez. So many medical yeah, laws yeah. being violated right now. <laughs> well, I'm cleaning it up again. I figured if it's going to be in the room, it needs to be sterilized. Can't argue with that. Yeah. Can't argue with that. All right, let's do this, boys. See you out there, Barry. I want you to be shocked, okay? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a different type of people, okay? It, they're from Sierra Leone. It's in the outback of Sierra Leone. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. That's not the name. Yeah. Outback is reserved for Australia. Right. It's but just I, a remote region. Remote, of yeah, I couldn't yeah. ignore remote. I went right to outback. I was at the steakhouse earlier. Yeah. Oh, I just thought to my subconscious. So. I just want you to know this boy that we adopted, he's not going to have our sort of cultural understanding, okay? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm just, I'm just excited that we were able to do so this. excited too. I mean, this yeah. is our answer for the fact that, unfortunately, I don't have the stuff in me that makes me, you know, I don't know that it is I do. I'm less of a man. I do I'm less of a man. man. I bought a kid because I couldn't make him. It's just love this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry I went to the Outback without you. It's just a remote region of Sierra Leone. No, 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 the steakhouse. Oh, I was on my way home and I was starving. And okay. I just, so, so I could have used a kale salad, but it's okay. They don't have it there. Why would it be a steakhouse? You're right. I think they would have some. Just better to me. Can I our child? Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. awful that I just, I, uh, I just, <laughs> just leave the child in the No, I'm not, I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster, okay? I just. I, I want this to be as smooth as possible for all of us. This is kind of my view. I don't want to be adopted. You want to make me try. Mark? I named him Mark. I love that name. Hey, hey Mark. Do you mind, anybody? Just welcome home. This yeah. is your new mom. Hi, Mark. Hi, I'm mom. Good day, mom. <laughs> Australian sounding. I mean, we're just taking the other side. I mean, we all both are friends. I mean, they're coming on me. He's picked up some of the known languages. <laughs> <Very, laughs> very fast. Yeah. Hey, Mark, come on, anybody? This is, yeah. this is, the, this is our uh, living room. This, this is like your living room. room. Mm, this is where we sit. Do you want, as a lazy boy, do you want to sit on a chair? You've already eaten, obviously, so you don't need a glass of milk or a cookies or anything. It's all right. It's all right.
it's um, it's well, chemically it's just neurotransmitters firing, but like <laughs> sociologically it means I'll I'll I care for you. I uh, that's why it's easy to take care of you and yeah, like, mom, you'll be safe. Yeah, you'll be safe here. Oh, right. Yeah, I love you, mom. Thanks, I love you too. See, we're already connecting. This is not a thing that anyone normally does. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> is that in your culture? Is that how you would do? Is that how you show emotion? Yes, that.
You're fine. You're taking us up. I'm taking us up. Okay. Okay. It's just going to be 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes, everyone. She's already made the announcement. So, so we're open inside. Huh? What? Sucks like you, dude. from you because I know I can't hear you. <laughs> what, what? We're about to take off right now, guys. We'll be traveling about 35,000 feet from New York City to Cleveland. We'll be landing in Cleveland in Cleveland time. Three hours from now. Three hours from now. <laughs> which is 4 p.m. About 4 p.m. Just as a heads up to all of those passengers who are worried, yes, we do have drugs smuggled in our anus. Yes, we did that by choice. We'll see you in Cleveland. Enjoy your flight, in the in flight school. Anyway, so, go sit down. Why are you putting your hand up? I'm fine. Like 
flat-chested women. I do too. I prefer it. It's easier. You don't have to I, I've got to interject here. I mean, there's all kinds of boobs, but no boobs are boobs, so you can't <laughs> like them. How do you like no boobs? You can call them boobs. I think we're speaking semantics. We're just talking about flat-chested women being attractive. I just feel like as men, we are forced to like certain things. Yes. We're tired of pretending that I... For instance, Hot dogs. Why do we bring hot dogs oh, on this trip? Oh, because they're made of a whole bunch of stuff. That's exactly my point. They're disgusting. I don't want to eat. I, you know what I want? I want a wild arugula salad. Is that too oh. much to ask for? Jeez. Oh, how good is some fresh shaped fennel be right now? Oh, oh God. God. So oh. good. Is there a farmer's market close to this campsite? What is it, Saturday? Yes. No, well, here's two hours away. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we should just continue to camp. <laughs> but now it doesn't make any sense. We're supposed to be manly things, but we don't even like it. Hot dogs are gross. Beer makes you fat. I don't even feel like a man anymore. Can I be totally honest with you? Yes, I was about to say the same thing, but go. Well, I, I watch you guys when you're peeing. <laughs> Can I be perfectly honest with you? Yeah. I, I feel like I'm supposed to be weirded out by that. And I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I I'm not either. I feel like I should be, but I'm not. Can, can I throw one out there? Please. <laughs> I feel a little inferior when, you know, we're all getting together. I just want to put that out there, you know. Like, why did I get short end of the stick? Hmm. Right? I mean, that's weird. You see it. I'm not a bad guy. I shouldn't have a small. Or think that way about you. Let's just more noticing like the 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 like the lines, the beautiful lines of your your penis. Is that a man's body so much more symmetrical? Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm clean. That's why I go to a gym that mostly guys work out at. I am so. Yeah, well, she, she had it coming. 
I was thinking I was going to be able to build myself a company. Maybe depression. I was hoping this would end in some sort of like awesome story where you like fought some sort of like German or you like met some girl and you like took a shower with her. I mean, yeah, I got those stories too, but this was just one particular story you asked about. Yeah, but I gave you one chance to tell me a great story for me to ask more about your life than to care about it, and you tell me about how you want to start a prop engine. Company? Yeah, because I'm the pitch, Grandpa. Now the doctor! Give me the 